Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.3 preview playthrough as the Arado Authority. In the last few episodes, uh, we've been trying to push our way up this direction, but the Imperial Remnant has actually been pretty aggressive for the last couple weeks in game. Uh, so before we actually do get started today though, there is going to be a community multiplayer match going on on the channel this afternoon, so that'll be, uh, or this evening I guess, uh, 5 p.m. EST. It's scheduled on the live streaming page for uh, for the YouTube channel. It'll be streamed on both YouTube and Twitch. So if you're watching the video the day it comes out and you want to join in on that, uh, just check out the channel and uh, that'll be up. So basically we just played some multiplayer skirmish and uh, yeah, so that should be fun. It's the first stream we'll have or we've had in a while. Uh, but I also did do a little bit of work uh, that hasn't shown up in game yet. So uh, you can see here the Haves Cluster is not very clustery. There's only the six planets, or three planets, and the transitory mist, but they're really spread out, and that's sometimes meant we've had uh, had to sort of displace some of the other planets around them, and you end up with this like big, sparsely populated area when the Haped Cluster is supposed to be clustery. So I've actually uh, I've made the Hape and stuff be a little bit closer together, and we'll be able to make some adjustments around that. Uh, but for whatever reason. The save file, you'd think like when you load the map, it would load the planet coordinates rather than loading it from the save file and trying to keep track of that, because there's not really a reason for it to keep track of that, but it didn't, so that's kept in the save file, which there's a lot of stuff that it does that with that makes no sense to me, where it seems like saving would be a lot quicker if it wasn't doing that, but like, unfortunately it's not something we can change, it's just weird to learn about this stuff. But yeah, so we'll see. I, I'm kind of wondering, the only reason I'm talking about this now is because I'm not sure if once we go into a battle and come back out of it, I don't know if uh, that'll still be the case or if it'll uh, put them in the new positions. But anyways, we did lose quite a few ships in the last episode, so we are going to uh, replenish our fleet over here. Uh, we do need to keep working on building up some more ships. We've got uh, Base Delta Zero and Pride of Raidu getting built up there we are going to send you up to here and i guess we're probably going to try to take uh Talysia back Constructing. well not back we didn't have the whole planet but we did have the space over the planet i did put up uh i asked you guys in the last episode who we should attack and uh, it seemed like the empire was the generally agreed upon target so that's what we're going to do let's that move you over saved. here Let's move you over here way. as well. Uh, get our ground forces more together there. Brigade standing by. And so, oh, please no. Construction right away. So once they attack there, we're gonna have to send. Oop, is that a breaker? It's too bad I can't see the fleet. Okay, no, not a Praetor, just just some Star Destroyers, not a Peltist, Cordial Discourse, and Relena are back. Uh, so let's get Delvardis moving back in. Uh-oh. Tactical battle imminent. Boy, well, yeah, I, I guess I'll save them. So we're going to go in and on uh, Typhara over in the west end there. We'll keep building up our stuff, and then uh, for next episode, I'll try to have the rest of the quest rest of the requested patron units in, uh, and then we can start working our way towards uh, Nighthammer and our regular executor. Enemy forces ahead. For jump to light speed. So once the Asserter is in... That will replace the regular executor for for Rider Authority, so they won't be able to build regular executors. They'll just have access to Night Hammer and the Asserter. Tactical battle imminent. Uh, okay, you guys are being violent again. These ones, I'm sure that we can take care of. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about it. I'm still going to leave the New Republic on Endor. The enemy. They can just keep acting as a buffer zone for the Empire of the Hand. But yeah, so once 2.3 comes out, no executor for the Arado Authority. Instead, all asserters. 
The Golan ties have been fixed, it looks like, so I can erase that. Oh. I keep some of the markers on top of the whiteboard, just hanging on some magnets. It's kind of precarious, and they just fell when I was wiping it off. So, life is hard. Okay, you are going to need to face this way. Need to get a new VO for that. Should bring that up with Way Lawful. And we need Golan VOs. Oh, this guy's. Hypervelocity gun available. Way off. Uh it's gonna be Whatever. Doesn't matter. Ready for orders. Die squadron standing by. I've got them in my sight. Excellent shot. This will save us. Not sure why they think I'll have to check the combat power for the for the Golans, because they seem to be thinking that the Golans are weaker than they are, or they might be thinking that the CR, or CC7700s, is that what it is, are a lot weaker than they are. Or stronger, rather, other way around. I guess that also, I don't know if that accounts for the... HV gun properly, either. So that'll be something to look at. Yeah, here we go. Uh, oh. You lucky. You are so lucky. Oh, did you get so lucky? Okay, so now we can actually go back on... The offensive. Well, not really the offensive. This is our planet already, anyways. Come on, get there first, Delvartis. Oh my god. You know what? Don't even care. So we'll probably try to build up at uh, now Hutta. We'll get a Valaduja. Um, we'll just leave those to defend themselves. And over here, we'll just focus on taking, like, Talesia, uh, no, or Kashyyyk, Coming around. all that stuff. We're on Let's the make move. sure they can't get away. Zed, get over here. We're moving out. Move out. I was going to start, like, sacrificing Zed or something, narrow down our heroes a bit, but after the battles in the last episode, that is not a good idea. Poor Hublin. For the Empire. For Mob. Target the lasers. Interceptor squad reporting. Course set. Star Destroyer reporting. Way to go. Yes, Commander. Yeah, you may as well do what you're doing. Order, sir. Closing on tower. Awaiting order. A lot of fighters. You know what? I'm gonna just focus on getting rid of the. Acclimators. At least the fighter bangs. Okay. We've also been talking about some changes we can make to the ISD model uh, without sacrificing any performance, so shifting some polygons from the shadow mesh to the uh, to the base mesh, so we can add a little bit more detail, especially in the back, uh, to the engine blocks and stuff, and then a little bit to the superstructure without changing performance at all, maybe even improving performance a little bit. Uh, so that'll be nice if we're able to do that, because right now they're at about like 6,000 polygons, we can probably get them up to like 10,000 without ruining performance, or without impacting performance at all. So that will be nice if we can do it. Uh, I'm going to keep building this up. I guess we'll get... You know what, I'm going to just hold up for the... for the uh, uh, thingy. Galaduja, that's one. Okay, so this fleet, we haven't really done much with it. 
Let's go into Typhera. From here, we should be able to go all the way up to Fondor. We can secure that line of planets. And then we'll try to leave uh, Nalhada pretty open as a viable target for them. So that once we have the Valaduja up there, we'll be able to go on from there. Choose your reinforcements. But let's get our good friend Giant Triangle of Doom in here. You know what? I'm going to send Giant Triangle of Doom over close to the Golans. And we'll back that up with Vader Shadow right away. and Peacemaker. Moving out. And we can send Aristotle over Heading on this out. side. Along with Strike Fat. Oh. Strike fast, black of all, and who are you? Legacy of the Republic. Okay. Uh, I guess let's bring in our Riminoyance. Uh, Damocles, 55th Bomber Wing, Visionary, and Supremacy. I'm not going to read all the names every time, but right now it's not a huge battle, so... Okay, you guys are going to send over to this one, and you guys are going to come in for the station. Because you're pretty much going to be able to take out that uh, this going on the way past. Oh, that reminds me, the Tie Punisher is not quite ready yet. Uh, depending on whether I record the next episode right after this or tomorrow night, uh, that could still possibly be in this week, if not, hopefully early next week. But uh, it is getting there because with that one unlike the vigil i do want to get it completely done before i put it in game and i still do need to rig the uh the punishing one because i'm sure kalo wants to see it in game too but it's getting there almost ready there will be stuff coming soon All right. Maximum effect has been held on the fire. Our primary engine system is down. He won't be around much longer. Closing on time. Didn't really use our pathfinder there. But now they want to leave because they're scared. As they should be. We good? We good. Okay, let's just get, uh, let's bring all of our ground forces together. Complete. We'll get them ready for the Fondor thing. I think with Typhara, we should be good with what we have here. We have the IDTs, they don't seem to have too, too much. Uh, but we'll see what they have at Fondor. Fondor. It's the door to fun. Watch this. And Choose we've got the the turret prices increased, which I don't. I think I talked about. I was going to do it. I don't think it was done in the last episode. But either way, there it is. Saw them on screen for three seconds there, so I'm sure you now know everything about them. And here they come. Get over there, IDT. Battalion standing by. All are ready. No. Get back. Time order. Copy. Roll out. Vehicles everywhere. Reporting. That was that was slightly exaggerated. There's. Not that big of a deal. 
now that they can just walk straight into our ATAT. Okay, you guys can turn around and shoot. That would be... No, you're just going to stand still. Doesn't need to be any of this fancy blowing my stuff up that you're trying to do over here. Don't retreat. I want you all to die. What, what are you doing? Get the... You know what, just go across the river. Those rockets on the 2Ms are actually doing a lot of damage to the AT-AT. Actually, a lot of damage they did there, but we're gonna get our uh, hero here, Strang, to build a repair platform, and then I think that's most of the vehicles done, anyways. No, why did you turn around? Did I click that? I don't remember clicking that. I might have done that. I'm just gonna assume I did. Figured we'd blow that one up faster. Okay, well... That's mostly it now. So we can just walk into the base now, you guys can head on in. And I'd like to get started on some of the ground scaling next, I think. That'll be the next clear step in, uh, in the ground reworks. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Just stand and shoot at stuff that's near you. All I want out of you. Alright, so Typhera is pretty much ours now. So well, that's nice. Still two more factories left, but we got most of the garrisons down. Okay, we're good. Well, they did better against the IDT than I thought they would. Alright, so we're gonna have our other ships over here soon. Tactical battle imminent. Oh, Krennel's just coming back alone. Not alone. I think I just made an unintentional Lord of the Rings reference. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to send, uh... We're gonna have to keep Delvardis there until... We're ready. Actually, I could probably just keep... Yeah, let's keep this fleet over there. We'll kill them off with Delvardis, then move Delvardis up to Telesia. But we'll go in on Fondor. Oh, there we go. Scared him off. You done best believe we scared him off. 
Target sighted. It's come up again in the comments quite a bit. Uh, questions about the level 4 shipyard slots. That is something that we are using for Super Star Destroyer shipyards. Uh, so Kuat, Fondor, a few other places like that, Bilbringi, Mon Calamari, like really prominent shipyards are getting moved to the possibility of having a fourth level. Uh, and that's what you're going to use to make SSDs. They'll also have better garrisons. Uh, so for some factions like the Empire of the Hand, I don't think they'll ever give an additional ship construction option, but they will be there, just with extra garrisons. We'd probably have something in the text to reflect that, otherwise it'd be guaranteed questions about that. Okay, you guys all go after that. You guys all go after that. Shut you off. It'd be really nice once we start getting in some of the new uh, planet models and uh, sky domes and stuff. More environmental stuff. Because that can have a bigger impact on the overall aesthetic than any individual model or anything like that. Oh, I didn't mean to take you guys off. Though. Just some of you. Okay, you can actually get in there. Rip supremacy. It's no longer supreme. Okay. So now that acclimator is dead. You guys can start moving in a little bit. I'm going to send them after the actual station now. And I'm going to keep you guys fighting these dreadnoughts. Pretty confident Vader Shadow is not in any real danger. I'll get uh, Giant Triangle of Doom to focus on the Dreadnoughts as well. You're going to focus on the station. You're going to focus on the Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts. Care. Okay, you're not helping. It's actually still there. We go. That's so hard, jerks. All right. So that station and little carrots and stuff. Vader Shadow is fine. We're trying to leave. Nothing is actually going to get away, because even that carrot's not a real unit. There we go. Never mind. They are going to stay. We are victorious. We are victorious. Victor Pastorius. Okay. Ahead to that position. To bring all of our ground stuff together for this. We do use the base game map, right? No, I don't know if that's true. Please don't be my crappy one. I will not be a Please, Rogue, tell me you made a different one and it's not mine. Where's the base one? Oh, thank God. It's Rogue's. Or it's another one that we've adapted. I think it's Rogue's. Yeah, I think this is a new Fondor one that Rogue made. It looks like it's specifically meant for Fondor. I don't think I've ever played on this one before. That looks like there's some build pads there. Um, what do we got over here? Prisons. Okay, you're going to go over to that landing pad over there. We 
we'll capture that. We'll get this build pad. And let's drop in our boy Veers. Our guy Weirs. And what else kind of sounds similar? Uh, two M tank ears? Uh, no. It's not any good. Sorry, I even tried to make that work. Well, we'll blow up whatever we can. Veers, walk on in. Let's get another AT-AT -AT to back it up. And you guys are just going to go and take out everything you can. Use the power to weapon so you can get the numbers advantage. They were just Oh god. That's a lot of rockets. Weir. Get over there. You get over there. No, kill them. Kill them all. Every last one of them. Not just the AT-ATs, but the rebel soldiers and the children too. All right. Crisis averted. Crisis Two was never played. I've actually never played any of the Crisis games. My computer wasn't good at the time when that was considered the the way you judge computer power whether or not you could actually run Crisis. Look at me now. The 1080. Okay. Uh, should be five structures left in here. I like this map. So Okay, so I'm actually... It was requested indirectly that I watch the bombing run. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to find a building that's a bit more important than that first, though. Let's say this one. Commence attack run. Well, that was a horrible time for it to change its view. Whatever. Alright, you guys just go up there. I'm going to try to do that a bit more often on uh, Rogue's maps, at least. Alright. We're... We're better off having you over here. And I don't think they have anything that's particularly threatening left, no. Just another light vehicle factory, so... Uh, Yeah. Jesus. Jesus, Veers. Excellent. It's not that serious. Come with Alright, so there's Fondor for us. But I would say I'm generally Fondor of Kuat. And I think that horrible, horrible joke, I don't really apologize for it, is where we'll leave this episode. I'm actually going to let check what I was talking about earlier. No, so it's it doesn't update between battles either. But anyways, that's going to do it for today. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. Uh, in addition to... Uh, so next week, we'll probably only have four episodes because uh, there is another series I'm going to start with something a little bit different. Uh, still Empire War related. So we'll have more Empire War next week. But uh, yeah, so anyways, thanks again for watching. We may or may not have the TIE Punisher in next time. And uh, I will see you then. Bye, everyone.